guys, my name is Yamato, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up Spud Arm Tablet in your OBS. Um, in case you don't know what Spud Arm Tablet is, it is a program that follows your cursor. Uh, it's like a hand that follows your cursor. I'll show an example up in the corner. Uh, you might have seen some art streamers use it, or art VTubers specifically. Uh, it's a really cool program, and I, w I was wanting to use it, so I figured I'd make a tutorial because it was really confusing for me to figure it out. So I thought it would be really nice uh, for you guys if I could simplify it a bit in case you're wondering how it works. So let's get started. Okay, to get started, now all we have to do is make a brand new scene in OBS Studio. So I already have one, so we're going to come down right into it uh, right now. So here we are. Uh, so to make a brand new scene, in case you don't know, you just click on this little check down, or not check, but plus mark, name it, and then click OK, and you'll be, you'll be met with a black screen, so all you gotta do is come down here into sources, click that little check mark, and click on display capture, and it'll display everything on your screen. Uh, the same thing with the audio input capture, it should pick up your microphone right away, so you come up here and click on audio input. So I already have all that, so I don't need to worry about it right now. So to set up the spud thing, or the spud tablet thing, you come down here. So I have it down here pinned to my taskbar just to make life easier. So all you gotta do is click it, and it'll, you'll be met with this. I move this down a bit, and then we're gonna make this big. So we made this big, and we're gonna come down here and hold our cursor on it. Then we're gonna tap that, and then we're gonna pop this right here. Now we're going to come back to OBS by clicking the bottom thing. We don't minimize those two because from what I'm aware of, it won't work. You can try that out later if you want to, but right now we're just going to do this. Uh, so as you can see, you can't see them. So what we got to do is we got to click on this check and we're going to click window capture. So we can name it really quickly. I'm going to name this hand and then we click OK. And immediately it actually pops up. Uh, I'm going to make it tiny really quickly, that way you can see what I'm doing, because I think it's in the way. Uh, so now you can see what I'm doing. Uh, make sure you click on Windows 10, so this Windows 10 thing, that is what I use. Make sure you uh, uncheck capture, capture Cursor, because we don't want our cursor to be captured, because it ends up looking really weird. And then click OK. Now, uh, we're going to pop this right here, and I'm going to minimize it a little bit, about to there. Now, we're going to left click down here in our sources on the hand and go into filters. I'm going to click the plus mark, and then I'm going to click right here, and it's called chroma key. Click OK. And if your character has teal like mine does, you might have to edit it a little bit, so lower that. And that way your character's hand doesn't end up being see-through. So just edit it a little bit to uh, whatever fits for you. And then click close, and now you have that. So to get the big hand on the screen, all we have to do is click once again, uh, the plus, uh, Windows Capture. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Uh, click OK. Now we have this popping back up. So we're going to come down and then click on Spud Arm. And this uh, big thing will pop up. So I'm going to minimize it. It's super tiny right now. And the reason for that is, is so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, make sure you click on the 10 thing again, the Windows 10. And then make sure you unclick. Uh, uncheck that because it will look very weird when you're recording and then click OK. Now we're going to come into filters and then we're going to chroma key and once again we're just going to do everything lower that so you can see my hand turns invisible basically so I have to lower it quite a, quite a bit and then click close. Now it's super tiny so what we can do for that actually is we can come back down here left click and then click transform, or don't click, you don't have to click it, just hover your cursor over it. And then come down here and click fit the screen, and boom, now we have the hand. Of course, we want our hand to be under the tablet, so we'll just move the layer just like that, and now it's under it. So you'll just hold it in and then push it down, basically. So now we have it like this. So to get uh, VTube Studio in here, just like this, it's a little bit different, so this is what I have. I'm going to... Uh, Minimize it really quickly. Uh, all you gotta do is click the check mark once again. Instead of window capture, though, we go into game capture. We click, uh, I'm gonna call it a uh, Yamato. Just like that. Oops, I'm sorry, I hit my thing. Click OK. Oh, that name is already in use. I did have it already in use. Okay, we'll click Yamato 
two. We'll call it that. Just very simple. And now we want to click capture specific screen or specific window. I'm so sorry. And the window is uh, VTube Studio right here. So now it's popped up and just click allow transparency and that fix your, fixes your chroma key thing. I'm going to click off of capture cursor. Make sure you unclick that and then click OK. Now you can see the little uh, floating girl right here. I think that is their watermark. And if you want to get rid of her, all we have to do is hold an alt. And make sure you're holding an alt, by the way, because if you're not, then it's just going to make it big or small like this. So we're going to hold an alt. And then we're going to crop, just like that. So uh, just crop it to how you like it. I kind of like it like that. And then minimize. So I'm going to minimize it to about here. And I'm going to put it in front. So actually, I'm going to minimize it just a little bit more. About right here. I like to have her in front at first so I can fix it. And then put her under the tablet. And now it looks like she's drawing. Now, if you want your drawing program to pop up in the window, all we have to do is we need to come down here once again to Windows Capture. Make sure you have your drawing program running. So this is Clip Studio and I have it going. So I'm gonna minimize it. Click OK. Now we need this. Don't capture cursor. Whoops, it's not popping up. Oh, I know what's wrong. Nope, discard please. Let me get rid of that really quickly. I'm so sorry. Okay. What's wrong is is I need to have that. You don't need to minimize that easier because if, if you do, then it messes up. I don't know why. It's just that way. But, okay, Windows Capture. We're going to call it Clip. Okay, click OK. And then right here, it will have all these things, but click on Clip Studio Paint and then click OK. Make sure you have it on the Windows 10. I don't capture my cursor personally, but if you want it captured there, you can. Click OK. And now, as you can see, it's above everything. Um, which I don't know if you were able to see what I did, but it's basically exactly what you do for everything else. So now we're going to move, uh, windows right under everything else. So now, as you can see, it's only recording our windows program. Uh, I like to make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to kind of zoom it in like that. That way our program is right front and center. Now, if we want to get into Google or anything, it's not going to show up. Uh, Google isn't going to show up. So it's only recording your program or whatever is in your window capture, which is really nice. So now we're going to go and I'm going to show you how to edit these hands to look like your character. So really quickly, we're going to go do that. So let's go. Okie dokie. Now we just need to um, get on Google really quickly. So I'm going to pull this up. Uh, to, so I'm going to show you how to edit the hands and this is going to involve you downloading it. So I'm just going to show you that really quickly. So now we're here at the downloading area and all we have to do is download now. Uh, you can just download it for free, but I do recommend donating to support the creators. It's really nice if you would. So uh, download the Spud tablet and then download the Photoshop template. So that's what I'm going to download. Click X on that and then open it when it's done. So you download that and then you download the Photoshop thing. Now that we have that, you have the Photoshop. So what we want to do is we open it and I do, no, it's, a, whoops, we don't want that to be open. Uh, we want to go into Clip Studio Paint. That was my bad. And so we're just going to take this and we're going to highlight all three of these and bop them into here. And now all three are open. So now you have, just hide this and open this folder and you can edit the tablet and then you come into here you can edit your hand you can just hide that and come into these folders and it gives you all the folders you need to edit it to look like your character keep in mind that you need to keep the wrist and the hand separate so whenever you save one you save it like that and then you save it like this so I will show you my version so here's an example um, here's the hand so it's saved all by itself so and then you turn on the arm and then you turn off the hand when you save that way they're on separate things so the joint can move. So once you save it, you save everything by itself. I'm not going to save that. Uh, you open up the Spud tablet. Um, you should have made a folder for your Spud tablet thing. And it should be right here. I named it Spud. 
Now, right here, it's called Override. There will be the original hands uh, that you had. All you have to do is save your um, files or your PNGs. Just tap it and name it the same thing, and then it will ask you if you want to override it. And that is all you have to do, and you can start up your program again, and it will be the edited versions. Alright, that is it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments. Do not be scared to ask me. Um, and if you have any ideas for any future tutorials that you might want to see from me, please also feel free to ask. And I will get right to it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye!